People have a lot of concerns and worries regarding the life after a bariatric surgery, especially the diet, food and eating pattern after a bariatric surgery. Food is a very integral part of our life and hence we understand that these concerns are very important. The general fear is that we won't be able to eat normally, that we would be on a liquid diet for a prolonged period of time before and after surgery, that the quantity of food that we would be able to eat would be so less that it would not be able to maintain our nutrition, that we would feel very weak after bariatric surgery because of the reduced diet and that we would be having problems in eating out at public places and in social gatherings. Let's discuss out all these concerns in detail so that you get a, a more clear and a true picture of food and life after bariatric surgery. This will help you take a more informed decision regarding uh, uh, your surgery and will make you better prepared for the changes that are going to happen after the surgery. Liquid diet is started from the next day of surgery. For the first week, you would be given clear liquids which are quite thinner. Second week onwards, the diet progresses to more thicker liquids. The speed and ease with which you can take liquids will gradually progress and improve in the initial two weeks. The third week onwards, the diet progresses to a puree diet. That is, third week onwards, you would be given solid food which would be made a baby food consistency by uh, blending it in a mixer grinder. Fifth week onwards, the diet progresses to softer diet, which doesn't need to be blended. And from seventh week onwards, you would be on a normal diet in which you can eat all your traditional food, which are even comparatively harder. Thus, you would be on a liquid diet for just two weeks after surgery. The progression of diet to a certain extent also varies on the kind of surgery that is performed. So if we talk about the three commonly performed bariatric surgeries, which are laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy, laparoscopic roux and y gastric bypass and laparoscopic mini gastric bypass, then the progression of diet is little faster and smoother in a mini gastric bypass. This is so because the gastric pouch that is created is little larger in a mini gastric bypass and the joint between this pouch and the small intestine, what we call an anastomosis, is also wider in a mini gastric bypass. I understand this is important, but still which surgery to perform should be decided after a thorough discussion with your surgeon regarding all the other advantages and disadvantages of each procedure and which one is more preferred in your particular case. Roughly about six months after a bariatric surgery, that is within the range of three to nine months after a bariatric surgery, you will be able to eat about two chapatis with some vegetables, little bit of rice and dal at one time. That is, you would be able to eat like a normal person. And this much quantity of food is adequate to meet your nutritional needs, given that you are going to follow and adhere to the diet guidelines given by us. This much amount of food is adequate to give you the satisfaction of eating also, and you would be able to enjoy your meals. Most of our patients are happy with the quantity and the way they are able to eat after a bariatric surgery. Again, enjoying food is never about quantity of food. Even if you have a habit of eating larger portions, it is just a matter of changing attitude and learning to enjoy food in little lesser quantities. The total quantity of food that you can eat is little higher with mini gastric bypass. Again, even if it is important, you should discuss with your surgeon regarding the other advantages and disadvantages of each procedure before finally deciding which surgery to perform. Do patients feel weakness after a bariatric surgery? Certainly no. 
even during the initial days after a bariatric surgery when they are on liquid diet with the re- reduction in the quantity of food they are able to eat and even with the significant weight loss patients do not feel weakness rather they feel more energetic more stronger and more healthier with the progressive weight loss you must understand that the feeling of weakness is not always directly correlated to the caloric intake do the obese patients feel more stronger or do the diabetic patients with a higher sugar level feel more stronger or energetic certainly not and after bariatric surgery even with the restriction in diet and with the reduction of uh, weight the person's blood sugar level doesn't go below the normal levels even the blood pressure doesn't go below the normal levels rather the other hormonal changes that are happening in the body after bariatric surgery all together improves the feeling of well being and the feeling of energy and strength the reduction in the weight also uh, improves the feeling of energy and strength so if you talk to any person who had gone for bariatric surgery you would hear that they had felt uh, more energy more enthusiasm and more uh, feeling of health after bariatric surgery even during the initial days when they are on liquid diet or when the weight has reduced little faster Another common concern is what should we eat after a bariatric surgery to maintain normal health and to maintain the reduced weight. The answer to this is you should eat a normal healthy diet that you have been eating since your childhood that is commonly prepared at your home. There is a common notion or an understanding that the initial diet phases after the bariatric surgery are intended to reduce the caloric intake for a faster weight loss which is not true the initial liquid diet and the pureed diet and the soft diet are given with the purpose of giving rest to the stomach and intestinal part where the surgery has been performed and they are not intended to reduce the caloric intake so once you come to the phase of a pureed diet or a softer diet you can consume the routine traditional food which is routinely prepared at your home and you have been eating since years as per your test after seventh week when you go back to a normal diet you can again eat the normal food traditionally cooked at your home and that you have been eating since your childhood there is no problem with a normal healthy diet you don't need to do any crash dieting or be on low fat or low carb diet or restricting the rice and wheat from your meals to achieve the maximum weight loss or to maintain that weight but there is a point of caution here if you have a habit of eating highly unhealthy food unhealthy food in larger quantities in more frequency then you have to restrict that and uh, change your diet pattern unhealthy food like high calorie liquids ice creams colas fried food food which are uh, cooked with high quantities of oil ghee and butter should be restricted significantly in terms of quantity and frequency this advice is not just for post bariatric patients it is a in general advice for any person whether they want to go on a bariatric surgery or not if you eat such kind of food in higher quantities and higher frequency it is likely to impact your health negatively and is also likely to gain you weight so this kind of food habits needs to be changed after a bariatric surgery but there is no need to fear in eating other normal healthy food items like roti or rice or wheat rather we encourage to you to go back to your normal healthy diet again if you are having a thinking that restricting the unhealthy diet significantly would take out the enjoyment from your life you won't be able to enjoy food then it is not a truth you need to make certain changes in the way you think about food there are lots and lots of healthier options of food 
which are equally tasty and which will make you enjoy food and life. Here comes the role of our dietitian and nutritionist who will guide you and help you to choose a healthier option of food in each and every scenario which would be of your liking. So with proper guidance and uh, advice, it is always possible to follow a healthy diet and still enjoy food and life. Dining out and eating at social gatherings is one another area of concern for those who are planning to undergo a bariatric surgery. But generally, after a couple of months of bariatric surgery, when you are back to your normal diet, eating out in public places and social gatherings is no different than what you used to do before surgery or what other people are doing. Yes, initially for the couple of weeks or a couple of months, when your diet is in progress, you may need some adjustment about what to eat and how to eat. You can take the help and advice of our nutritionist and dietitian about what options you can choose when you go out for dining during those phase of your diet post bariatric surgery. Also, once you are back to your normal eating pattern, then you are going out and eating uh, in social gatherings, we would certainly advise you to uh, choose the healthier option available there and also to make sure that you don't overeat like many of us many a times do when they go out for eating. Again, some people surrounding you may have a problem with you eating healthier portions or comparatively lesser portions but you should understand that it is their problem, it is not your problem. As long as you are able to enjoy the food that you are eating and you are satisfied with the quantity of food that you are eating. And believe me, you would be able to enjoy food like normal person, like what you used to do before a bariatric surgery. And you would be overall happy with the changes that are happening after a bariatric surgery, the regaining of health that follows a bariatric surgery. Hope this information was helpful and uh, if you have any further queries or concerns, you can contact us. We have given our uh, email address, phone number and WhatsApp number and we would be more than happy to answer and guide you in your journey to your weight loss.